So I see we starting off this week with one of those full court halftime buzzer beater Jamal Murray, Kevin Harlan. Bangs! Team keep it clean. Woo -hoo 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 Hey, a lot of us thought that this would happen, especially after the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. A lot of us figured that this would happen, but I know there was some speculation with the Orioles moving their game to an earlier time. Some people thought, oh, the Baltimore Ravens, they start in week one on Sunday night football, probably against the Chargers because that'll be the Harbaugh Harbaugh game. But NFL said, nope, wrong, incorrect. The first game to start this NFL season. It ain't going to be the Eagles and Packers over in Brazil. They'll play the following night, but the first game to start this upcoming NFL season, the Super Bowl, three-time Super Bowl champions, past two Super Bowl, Kansas City Chiefs, the best team in the game. Hey, they, they got it. Can't argue that. Best team in the game, best quarterback in the game. They are the best. They are starting off the season against our Baltimore Ravens. Two-time MVP Lamar Jackson. Defending Super Bowl champion versus defending MVP. We wish that we could be saying about Lamar Jackson that he was the defending MVP and defending Super Bowl champion. But it is what it is. NFL said, hey, last year we gave y'all that sweet schedule. Well, it wasn't a sweet schedule, but we started y'all off sweet. Because we gave y'all a rookie quarterback at the crib in week one. And y'all ain't even show out like that. Y'all did y'all thing overall, but y'all ain't even show. You know what? This year, all right, take Patrick Mahomes and them Super Bowl Kansas City Chiefs. But it's cool, baby. It's cool. Because in order, like y'all know, in order to be the best and become the best, what do you got to do? Exactly. You got to beat the best. Team, keep it clean. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. This should be a very fun week. This is schedule release week. This coming Wednesday on the 15th, we will find out the full Baltimore Ravens 2024 schedule. So all their primetime games, this is obviously one of them to kick off the season. Uh, every single 1 p.m. game, 4 p.m. game, Thursday night game, whatever, games that fall on holidays, whatever it's going to be, we are going to find out officially this Wednesday night, and that should be fun. Before we do, let's get into this game. So, the 2024 NFL season will open up on Thursday, September 5th with an AFC Championship game rematch, Ravens versus Chiefs. Thursday, September 5th at 8.20 p.m., on NBC and you see th this game like no matter how it goes it's not gonna be enough and reason I say that is because right now like and this is not a rivalry by the way it's really not a rivalry they have been beating us for the longest we beat them in what was that 2021 I think and that game oh my goodness that was my favorite game of that season where we beat them in week two uh, it was either Sunday or Monday Night Football. Of course, y'all know the, the Lamar Jackson going for it on fourth down, the Dafe away, knocking the ball out of Clyde Edwards, Elias' hand, and scooping it. And what? Oh, that game was so crazy, man. But, but Ravens got it. But we ain't been getting them Chiefs, man. I think that's the only time that we beat them in this current Ravens era. I'm pretty sure. Um, and they, they just been getting us. They've been getting us. Whether it's been a close game, whether it's been a blower game, they, they just been getting us. So this is not a rivalry. This is a frustration. <laughs> Straight up. This is a frustration because the Chiefs, they are the current cream of the crop in the NFL. They are those guys. They are the team to beat. They are the team to face. They are the team that the Baltimore Ravens just, they ain't been able to get over that hump. And I mean, a lot of teams ain't been able, been able to get over that hump. That is the Kansas City Chiefs. But what I was saying earlier with this game, the reason why it will not be good enough either way, no matter how it goes, is because it'll be week one. It'll be week one. Now, I know, like, it's going to get all the hype in the world. We all going to be super excited about it. Hey, we starting our season off against KC, baby. Let's get it. It's, it's going to be fun now. It's going to be fun. But think about this. Like, if no matter where it goes, it's not going to be good enough. Say, for instance, the Baltimore Ravens lose. They lose against the Chiefs. People, especially, you know how fans are going to be. And it's going to be week one because that, that's going to be the first real football that a lot of Ravens fans see since, ooh, since the AFC Championship. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. And say if the Ravens lose week one A lot of Ravens fans are going to be like See, I knew it, we suck, we're terrible It's going to be an 0-17 season We're going to lose Oh, we might not even make the playoffs Because you know how Ravens fans we overreact To a lot of stuff It happens, that's called being a fan Ravens fans, they take being a fan To a, another level And I love y'all, you, you know I love y'all We love each other for sure But Say, for instance, the Ravens win. The Ravens win. Oh, I'm going to be hype. I'm going to be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be super hype. Y'all already know. But on top of that, a lot of fans are going to be like, that's not good enough. Because this, oh, we beat the Chiefs in week one regular season. All right, cool. We're not clicking on all cylinders, but neither will they, were they. This, this is super early. But um, show me something in playoffs. Show me something in playoffs. And honestly, that is what I feel should be a proper reaction to either way that the game goes. That's why I say it, it, it should not and it can't be good enough. Beating the Chiefs in the regular season would be amazing. That would be great. I would love if that happened. I would be, yeah, let's go. But either way that this game goes, if you're going to get to your ultimate goal, if you're going to get to where you need to be and want to get to, and that is, of course, the Super Bowl in New Orleans. Hey, 12 years. Remember, every 12 years, this would be the 12th year. Because remember, 2000 season, they won a Super Bowl in 2001. 2012 season, 12 years later, they won a Super Bowl in 2013. So now it's the 2024 season. Will they continue their 12-year quest in 2025 is to be determined but if you want to get to where you want to go and that being a Super Bowl you're gonna have to get through the Chiefs you have to there's no way around it there's no other path I mean there technically could be but no you need to be able to beat the Kansas City Chiefs who have been beating you down for years literal years so Hey, so whatever happens with this week one game, and I ain't downplaying it at all, because that's what a way to start off. Like, to start off against the best, like Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, John Harbaugh, Andy Reid, Hollywood Brown in the Baltimore Ravens defense. Ooh. But hey, Hollywood Brown with a Patrick Mahomes. Not whoever he played with last year when we played Arizona. Even though he did his thing toward the end of the game. Early on in the game, he was quiet. He was quiet. But toward the end of the game, when they start coming back and stuff, Hollywood start doing a little better. Um, did Kyler Murray play in that game? I think he – no, I don't think he did. I don't think he did. I think there was a different quarterback. But either way, like, this, this is it, man. What, what, what a way to start. What a way to start. And then we get to see Xavier Worthy possibly against a Nate Wiggins. Oh, we might get to see a Hollywood Brown possibly against a Nate Wiggins. So, like, look, man, this is everything that, like, this is what people dream of, man. Starting the season off like this against the Chiefs. Ooh. <laughs> Like that that is no small task. That that is a literal big deal for sure. Um, because again, the last time that we saw the Chiefs, it wasn't pretty. And the last time we saw the Chiefs, um, it really just killed so many Ravens fans' vibes. It it literally destroyed uh Ravens fans big time. Because, and I've talked about it with other uh, Ravens, like content creators and stuff. People make videos covering the Baltimore Ravens. Like, you could tell, like, Ravens fans, after that AFC Championship loss against the Chiefs, Ravens fans were not watching anything. They did not want to see, not hear, not talk about anything with the Baltimore Ravens. And that's because of the Chiefs. The Chiefs did it. They took care of business. And it's funny, speaking, speaking of taking care of business, my guy uh, Terrell... Um, he had a question about that AFC Championship game that he was thinking about, that a lot of people were thinking about, and he said the following. He said, good afternoon, Engraven. Hope all is well with the family and yourself. My pops and I watched the Rich Eisen show, and it brought back terrible memories. It almost felt like the game was thrown, especially since the, most of the game, the ball was <laughs> thrown. <laughs> a little double entendre. There. Anyway, he said, I'm just saying, what's your opinion? Well, I mean, my opinion, Ravens did it to themselves. That's it, straight up. They did it to themselves. And 
watching them do it to themselves was extremely frustrating on a lot of different levels, especially because throughout the entire game, it remained close. The defense, early on in the game, they were a little lackluster. They were giving up too much, but at the same time, they only gave up, what, 17 points. For you to give up 17 points, I think three points in the second half to Patrick Mahomes, three points in the second half. If you ever told me, oh, yeah, in the AFC Championship, Ravens defense is going to give up eight, three points uh, to Patrick Mahomes in the second half. Oh, oh, yeah, we won. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we got it for sure. We won the game. Let's go. Nope. Wrong. Wrong. So um, to feel like the game was thrown, who knows, but um, the Ravens, they – and it's weird because um, with Lamar Jackson, with the Ravens offense, we, we want them to throw more. We've been wanting them to throw more, but we have also just want them to be timely with stuff. Uh, we want the game to flow. We, we want them to take advantage of opponents' weaknesses. So if an opponent has a weak pass defense, hey, what do you do? You throw that ball more, but – in a case where an, an opponent has a weak rush defense and in a case where an opponent is is a terrible run defense and in a case where the opponent the week before the, the very week before that opponent gave up like 200 rushing yards to a team that you would run even better than that being the Buffalo Bills the Chiefs being one of the worst run defenses and the Ravens literally being the best run offense <laughs> oh thinking back at it it's terrible just it, it was just terrible but i know all of those memories are going to creep back into ravens fans heads and hey if those memories are out of your head trust me you will be seeing plenty of highlights from the afc championship game from last year leading up to this game they're going to talk about it throughout the broadcast they're going to mention it they're going to show clips from it so be prepared but hopefully the Baltimore Ravens can, they can't avenge themselves from last year. They can't. It's impossible because the season is over. That was a playoff game. Like, say, for instance, if they played the Chiefs in the regular season last year and lost and then beat them in the AFC Championship game, that would be avenging themselves because it would happen in the same year. But once the season is over, ain't no avenging yourself from that. It's done. That's a wrap. The Super Bowl champion has been crowned, and that's obviously the Kansas City Chiefs. So, hopefully in this game, they can take care of business against the Chiefs and give us a preview of what they will do in an upcoming AFC Championship game against the Chiefs this following or this upcoming year as well. Team, keep it clean. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications on. Leave a like on the video because it helps out a lot. This should be a very, very fun week, especially if we starting off with news like this.